Well, when everything is trending your way, as far as recruiting, you kind of feel really good about it. But then something happens and it just makes you pause and step back and reflect. And that could be what's happening with Oklahoma and Christian Leary. Christian Leary has long been synonymous with Caleb Williams and Mario Williams. They were the hot dog gang that we've been talking about. I'm not saying the hot dog gang is over, but what I am saying is Alabama has gained a lot of trackage, traction with uh, with Christian Leary, so much so that 24-7 Sports, actually this last week, Andrew Ellis gave a crystal ball prediction of Leary going to play college football in Tuscaloosa. Now, if you're needing to know who Christian Leary is, 5'9", 180. He's the number 19 prospect from the state of Florida and the number 18 receiver prospect in the nation, according to 24-7 Sports, currently sitting on 43 scholarship offers, offers, and he's settled between Alabama, Auburn, Florida, or Oklahoma with the Crimson Tide, like I said, making a late, late push. Have we reached the stage where it's Christian Leary or Egbuka, or can you still have Christian Leary and Emeka Egbuka? I don't know. I, I really don't know the answer to that question. And I'm looking at the fact that Oklahoma has a kid like Danny Stutzman, who also is a, a versatile prospect. Now, I'm under the understanding that Oklahoma is recruiting him as a linebacker. Yeah, he'll be defense. But we know that it's not it, – it's – it doesn't happen frequently. I don't want to give that impression, but it's it also isn't extremely uncommon for a player to shift positions after they've right. arrived on campus because of the emergence of another player or an unlikely candidate sliding into a role that was a more natural fit for them, again, after everyone arrives on campus. So I know that he can potentially play that H back or that tight end type role at the university of Oklahoma talking about Stutzman here. And so you do, you, you've got to think is Oklahoma going to take three, four, potentially five receivers. If you had to pick between the two, Leary's a really good option and I don't ever want to slight him, but you would take a Buka in a heartbeat. Well, I've got some breaking news. Honestly, just breaking news right now on Christian Leary, if you want to hear it. Yeah, go for it. Um, Brian Bishop, also with 24-7 Sports, one of their exports, has given Christian Leary a crystal ball prediction for the University of Oklahoma. So and that's got, happening now. Live yeah, so you, you, got, you got three crystal ball predictions out there now. It was 50-50. Brandon Drum uh, had given um, Leary back in April – um, the crystal ball for Oklahoma, Andrew Ellis, just uh, earlier in the week, uh, two days ago, uh, gave it towards uh, Christian uh, for Alabama, and then Brian Bishop uh, gives it for Oklahoma. So Alabama is gaining traction, but it makes you want again. I think there's an ebb and flow here between Leary and I think they're connected in that. Look, top talent. Oklahoma is going to go four or five deep at receiver, okay? But top talent. You can only have so much of these elite guys, in my opinion, because of what you said, that they to go to the NFL. And it's hard once you get past three. It's hard to find enough time in a game to catch those passes. And I don't know. I really don't know. I would love for them to be able to. I don't know if they can land Emeka Ebuka and Christian Leary. It makes me think – if now he's getting another crystal ball prediction going towards Oklahoma, that means that Ibuka is another step closer to going to Ohio State. That's the way I read that. Right, and, and I, I'm going to go ahead and, and say— And I want to be wrong. I want to say I want to be wrong on that. I'm going to say this. Oklahoma can take both of them. That That's not an issue. By any stretch of the imagination, Oklahoma can take both names. The likelihood of them taking both names— is not as great as the the likelihood that they would given the opportunity. But if if I'm in Christian Leary's situation, I don't see any harm in keeping your options open. He hasn't committed. We know that he's set for the beginning of June to make his commitment. So of course, hearing this news, all the universities that are in the mix are going to begin recruiting him extremely hard because they want that verbal. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean things can't change down the road, but they want that initial verbal and they want to make a quick but lasting impression here just weeks before that commitment. 
Christian Leary would be, as I've mentioned, a great pickup for whichever university he chooses to attend. But all signs for me, because of the ties that you've mentioned, Hot Dog Gang, Caleb Williams, the longtime lean towards the University of Oklahoma, all signs at this point in time point towards Norman. It, it's it's hard to bet against Oklahoma for Christian Leary. There, there's a lot more tie-in with Christian Leary to the University of Oklahoma than there has been at Mecca exactly. to the exactly. University of Oklahoma. Again, I'd love to see them both come. But again, you you got two guy two two guys that are really good. Mm-hmm. You know, you got a five star and a four star already committed. And you're, I I haven't looked at the numbers in terms of the measurables for Ibuka, but I do know that Oklahoma has been built on speed for years. Oh, Ibuka is in years. It, here's how good, in my opinion, here's how good Ibuka is. If he comes, he'll be the best receiver in this class. And you know, I'm high on Mario Williams, and I'm mm-hmm. high on Christian Leary. Their speed, now their speed separates them you know, immensely. And again, we've got video of both of those guys, heartland sports.com. Go look at it. We've got video of those guys running away from defenders. Egg book is better than both of them, in my opinion. And, and and it's obviously that's the reason that he's warranted or he's garnered the attention that he has at this point in time and received a five-star rating. Right. I, I believe he's a unanimous five-star, correct? I believe so, yes. When you look at a guy like Egbuka, I, I would buy into the idea that he would be better. He would be the best receiver of the class. But at the same time, when I think of speed, I, I'm thinking of guys like Hollywood Brown. I'm thinking of guys currently on the roster in Charleston Rambo. You're essentially looking for someone who can fill that role because Rambo's not going to be here forever. He may have one, two more years in him. Yeah, he may have one. And that's what I'm leaning towards because he may be the go-to. He may be receiver number one this year. He's my guy, my breakout guy for this year. I, I think him and Austin Stogner, um, I think they, they become Hollywood Brown and Mark Andrews type mm-hmm. type combo. And so, again, you're and, looking. And, and you, you got to look at the injury to Hazelwood. That kind of sets it up as the well. The injury to the transfer from UCLA. As he's well. going to play. I just don't know. I don't think it's day one, though. Well, um, but he's going to play. Um, you're talking about Theo Howard. Theo Howard, thank um, you. He's he's going to play. Um, and I, I again, you got you got you got a you got a, a suspended receiver. You got two injured receivers. Yeah, I think Charlton Rambo is going to have a heck of a season. And I agree. But again, that's why I think you're. You're not picking between the two, but you are picking between the two. Let's just lean into that all the way. You're essentially picking between Egbuka at this point in time and Leary. Yeah. Yeah, and if I had to have him, like if I had could, if I could only have one, I would pick Egbuka, but Leary's again, what I said earlier. Leary's not he's not chopped liver. Well, and I'm hoping this is if if it is Leary, I'm hoping that the I think relationship it's gonna be. the relationship that's currently being formulated and established between himself and a guy like Caleb Williams is something that produces far greater than, and it's again, no slight to any individual player, but far greater than the production that we would have seen Mm -hmm. from Caleb Williams and Agbuka. (laughs) 